What's happening? Am I sure not going to stand it? Um, I don't know. It's got something to do with Fancy's sister, Pretty. What does that got to do with Louise and Fancy? I don't know. This is completely insane. This has everything to do with Louise and Fancy. If Sheridan tells the truth about Pretty and Fancy, Louise is as good as dead. Order, order in the court. All right. So, Counselor, ask the question again, and the witness will answer. Thank you, Your Honor. Mrs. Booth, could you please tell us what did Fancy Crane do to make her sister Pretty leave Harmony for good? Well, I... Uh... Actually, I wasn't there. Hearsay. Your Honor, hearsay. The witness said she was not there. Overruled and sit down, Winthrop. Now answer the question or face a charge of contempt. What? It had to do with a guy. Fancy lied and said pretty did something, only it wasn't true. So Fancy lied about a guy? Yes. So perhaps she's lying about this guy too? Maybe Louise isn't as innocent as Fancy would like us to believe. Objection. Objection. Move to strike witnesses' last statement. This entire line of questioning is completely irrelevant, Your Honor. I'll withdraw the question then, Your Honor, but I do have another question concerning Fancy Crane's past. Once again, irrelevant. Well, since she's defending the man who attacked her, I'll allow it. It should be very interesting. Thank you, Your Honor. Isn't it true that Miss Crane lived in the fast lane and hasn't always had the most uh, reputable for him? No objection again. It's hearsay, Your Honor. And again, overruled. Answer the question. Well, her judgment wasn't always the best. Some of her friends ended up going to prison. No, only Esme, and yes, she went to jail, but the drugs weren't hers. Whose drugs were they? Your. Objection. Sure, come on. No more questions, Your Honor. Hold on. Hold on. I have a few questions for Mrs. Booth. How can Aunt Sheridan say those things about me? Crane, step away from the defendant. Ethan, what are you going to do? Well, after the way Sheridan used to attack Fancy, I'm going to have to discredit Sheridan. Mama, where are you? Things aren't going very well. Mrs. Booth, Sheridan. Were you and Fancy close over the years? Yes. We saw each other on holidays. I grew up in Europe, and she grew up in boarding schools. Yet you still managed to maintain a healthy, loving relationship with each other. Is that true? Yes, I'd say so. I always wanted what's best for my niece. Until now, you mean? I'm sorry? Well, isn't it true that that, that feeling of affection towards each other has pretty much disappeared since she's been involved with the defendant, Luis Lopez Fitzgerald? No, I, I gave them my Did blessing. Did you tell Fancy that it would never work out with Luis? Objection, Did irrelevant. Did you also tell Fancy that uh, she was the root of all of Luis's problems? I, I just want what's best for Fancy. Objection. I think what you want is Luis, isn't it? I mean, let's, let's tell the truth here. Even in spite of your marriage, you're still in love with Luis. As a matter of fact, you can't stand the fact that he's in a happy relationship with Fancy. Isn't that correct? No. Sheridan, you're under oath here. You should tell the truth. You still love Luis, don't you? You can't stand the fact that they are together and that he has moved on to another woman. Isn't that correct? No, no, Sheridan, that's not true. Sheridan, you're lying no, to me. No, no, no. Objection. Badgering the witness. Sheridan, the fact is 
Objection. You're in love with that man right there, and you've done everything in your power to break the two of them up. Isn't that correct, yes. Sheridan? Yes, it's true. I can't stand seeing Fancy with Luis. I, I'm still in love with him. I've always loved him. He's the only man I will ever love. The fact is, you would say just about anything to discredit Fancy Crane, wouldn't you? Objection, Your Honor, please. What? Oh, I'm sorry. I, um, it was getting interesting, of course. Sustained. No more questions. Step down, Smooth. No. No, 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 I, I need to explain. Down, Mrs. Booth. In the case of the Commonwealth versus Miguel Lopez Fitzgerald, the state would like to call Nicholas Foxworth Crane to the stand. Fox, please help Miguel, please. I'll try. Okay, I'll do my best, all right? Bailiff is going to take you to the side room, all right? Please, please, let me explain. Why don't you try and explain it to me first? Chris, not now. I'm, I'm sorry. I guess I should have known your true feelings all along. like a liar and a flake. But I was right, wasn't I? She still wants you. There's no excuse for what she did. Louise. Fancy, I'm so sorry. How can I... you do it, you bitch? How can you talk to me like that? I was just answering the questions Put to me. You did your best to try and make Fancy look bad. Because she's defending me. I can't believe you really want me to be found guilty. My goodness, no. You have to believe me. No, you were trying to make Fancy out to be a liar. Was she telling the jury that I didn't rape her? That's not true. It's absolutely true, and you know it. You admitted you're still in love with Luis, but you hate that he's with me. You know, Sheridan, I never thought that I would see you become like Alistair or Julian. But you have. I'll never forgive you for what you did today. See, this time, you didn't just hurt me, you hurt Louise. And you said if he's found guilty, it'll be my fault. It'll be your fault, Sheridan. If Louise is executed, it'll be all your fault. Please, please, let me explain. There's nothing you can say I want to hear. Police, let's go. Jury's coming in. Wait, the jury's back? So soon? The jury reached its verdict. Yes, Your Honor. Will the defendants please rise? In the case of the Commonwealth against Luis Lopez Fitzgerald and the case of the Commonwealth against Miguel Lopez Fitzgerald, we, the jury, find both defendants 
guilty. Thank you.